Good afternoon everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Stolen Numerals by Nurgle's Gift. Um, this is a puzzle that was recommended to me, and when it was posted to Logic Masters Germany, it was posted in a bit of a weird way. There's a link below, you'll be able to see that. Definitely not a normal submission, I don't know if it was Nurgle Gift's first or anything, but um, yeah, some interesting stuff going on. But anyway... Um, I'm going to jump straight into this one, uh, very much under time pressure at the moment. So, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed once each. Any two fives cannot be separated by either a king's or a knight's move in chess. So, a king's move basically means that um, if this cell was a five, then I couldn't put a, king, a five anywhere touching it. So normally these digits could be fives by Sudoku because they're not in the same row, column or box. They couldn't be in this puzzle. This is only for fives um, because um, they would be, if this was a chessboard, a king could move here in chess. Similar with knight's move, these cells here, so that one, that one, that one, uh, that one and that one also couldn't be fives because a, ch a knight in chess could move to those. Basically, any two cells either directly touching or separated by that shape cannot contain a five. Um, ratio. The digits separated by a black dot must be in the two to one ratio. All black dots are given. So um, these digits will be one is double the other. Um, we know that these dots are not doubled, or one double the other, because no dot is given. All black dots are given. We also have an XV variant, which is each green dot is either an X clue or a V clue. Digit separated by an X, sum to 10. Digit separated by a V, sum to 5. All Xs and Vs are given. So we know that these two digits will sum to either 5 or 10 and all, um, uh, but we don't know which. And we know that this, for example, could not sum to 5 or 10 because if they sum to 5 or 10, they would need a green dot. All green dots are given, basically. Weird way to put it. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, the first thing I want to look at is fives and get all of that weird stuff out of the way because you can never put a five on a ratio dot because the only things in a two to one ratio with five is either two and a half or 10, not valid Sudoku digits. And you can never put a five on a green dot because if it was a V clue, it'd have to be five zero or if it was an X clue, it'd have to be five five. None of that is possible. So I can never put five on any dot. So five is in one of those two. Can't put five on a dot. Can't put five here because five is looking down. Five is in one of those two. Now, five can't be in here. Five, okay. Five I can see is in one of those three because these two cells, that cell it sees that one by Sudoku and that one by Knight's Move, that one by Sudoku, that one by Knight's Move. So it's in one of these three. I can probably do better than that. I can. I can't put five... Five is down here, so this isn't the five, which means one of these is a five. Five is in one of those three, which means five is in one of those because these two cells, that one sees both of those by Sudoku and that one by King's move. That one sees both of those by Sudoku and that one by Knight's move. So none of those can be... Um, uh, five. So five is looking down here, taking five out of here. This can't be a five because it sees that by King's move and that by Knight's move, or it couldn't be because those are looking over. So now five is in one of those because five, or oh, where's five in the top row? That would have been a nicer way to start. So there's no five here. Th neither of these can be fives. No, that's not true. Well, this can't be a five. Because it sees that by king's move and both of those by knight's move. 
that can't be a five because it sees that by king's move and that by knight's move. So yes, it is true. Both of those, the five is in one of those two. So this isn't the five. This is the five, which means this isn't the five by knight's move. This is the five, which means this isn't the five. This sees this one by king's move. So this is the five. This is not the five. This is the five. Not sure if I'm getting that any further. Oh, yes, it sees that by knight's move. So that's the five, which sees means that's the five. That one sees that by knight's move. That's the five. That's not the five. That's not, that's the five. So there's all the fives done using the, so I could ignore all the chest stuff now. And now I can just worry about dots. Now there's a lot going on with dots. Like there's a huge amount going on with dots. Like I can start here for one. So the only thing you can put on two black dots um, uh, one doubling to two, two doubling to four, three doubling to six, four doubling to eight. And three and six can only go with each other. So five, seven, and nine can never go on a black dot. But if I'm doing a run of four, the only possibility, if you look at that carefully, is one doubling to two, doubling to four, doubling to eight. It's the only way it works. If I start at two and go up, I go two, four, eight, sixteen. It doesn't work. So when you've got a run of three dots, it has to go one, two, four, eight. So you've got one eight at one end and two, four at the other. So these are one, two, four, eight. So these are three, seven, three, six, seven, nine. That's what these must be. Now, hmm, I think I need to keep looking at black dots. Like in here, for example, when you've got a run of three black dots, it still must be from one, two, four, eight, because remember they are right, 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 right. This, I'm going to remove all of that. This dot, let's look here. So a run of three black dots. You can't use three, six, and it's going to be either one, two, four, because if I start at one, I can go one doubling to two doubling to four. If I start at two, I can go two doubling to four doubling to eight. If I start at four, I've got a problem. Four, eight, 16 doesn't work. So it's either one, two, four or two, four, eight. The middle digit is either two, four, and these are one, two, four, eight, but two and four must be on here. And any dot that doesn't use a two or a four, um, one doubles to two, two doubles to four, four doubles to eight. The only thing left is three doubling to six. So this is three, six. Now that is putting a restriction here because this can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, or eight. This is seven or nine. So how does that work on an XV clue? Well, this can't be a V clue because if this was a V clue, you need a, uh, two low digits. This is a, an X clue. Nine would go with one. That's not a one. This is seven. This is three. This is six. Um, okay, so these are from one, two, four, eight. Oh, where there is the nine in this box? It's there. Nine is in one of those two, but I can never put nine onto a black dot. So this is one or eight because this has to be from one, two, four, eight, because the only digits you can use, uh, 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 one, two, four, eight, three, and six. There's no three, six, there's no two, four. So this is one or eight. So this is, this, if this is a one, it goes to a two. If it's an eight, it goes to a four. So this has to be a two, four because I need to put a two and a four. Well, basically the two, four pair takes the two, four out of there. This becomes a one, eight, taking the one, eight out of there. And I've got the run out of this. It's one, two, four or eight, four, two. But two, four here. These are one, eight and two, four, but I'm still not sure of the order. This could go one, two, one, eight. The negative, I, it possibly has something to do with the negative constraint, but I'm not seeing it. This is now nine, which means this is one, right? Because this is nine. And again, this makes this an X clue. So this is a one, this is a two. This would have to go to a four. If it's a four, it goes to a two or an eight. But this makes this an eight, this a four, this a two, this a one. So there's no eight or four here. This is the two, this is the one. The two is, goes to a four, which means this goes to an eight. This is the one, two, four. Cool. Four, this is either one or six, and it's not one. So this is a six. Uh, 
in here I've got two eight and three seven, um, which are the two X clues these must be. And this one, actually, I could have told that these all had to be X clues anyway if I'd thought about it. I just didn't. But these now have to be three seven. This now has to be three seven because um, if I made this three two, what is left here would be seven eight, which doesn't sum to ten or um, or five. So this has to be three seven, which means this is two eight which I could have got by Sudoku as well. Um, now, this is a 2-4. Oh, these are 2-4 and these are 1-8. That was a run of four digits that all see each other. I just didn't see it. This is 8, 4, 2, and 1 because I have that looking down. This is a run of three digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, I can't put 7 on a black dot because its ratios are 3 and a half and 14. So this is the 6, 8. This is the 7. 8 goes with 4, 6 goes with 3, so this is a 3, 4 pair. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's the 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 goes there, and these are 3, 6, 9. Interesting stuff. Still not sure if I'm solving this the right way or not. Don't really care. So this is a two or a four, and these are one, two, four, eight for the same reason. This has to, and it must contain two and four. So this becomes three, six. Now, um, this doo -doo can't be two. So if this can't be two, it can't go two, four, eight. That can't be eight. I'm going to remove the two, four. I'm just going to try and remember. These have to be 7 and 9, because I can't put 7 or 9 here, and I can't put 7 and 9 into any of those. So this is 7, this is 9, and this is from 1, 2, 4, 8, and it can't be 2, 4. This is again 1, 8. So this is 2 or 4, because 1 goes to 2 and 8 goes to 4. And the 2 here makes this the 4, so this is the 8 which means this isn't the 8, so this is 1, 2, 4, so there's a 2 in the middle with a 1, 4, with a 1, 4. Now, 4 here means that this is either 1 or 6, depending on whether it's an X or a V clue, and the 1 looks down, making that the 6, which makes this 3 and this 6. The 4 makes this the 1 and this the 4. This row is missing a 2. Now, this is... Well, it's not a V clue. Oh, the 6 makes this 8, which makes this 4, which makes this 6 and 3. And these are now just 3 and 7. So those are... That was an unneeded... Um, clue, except for the fact that there is a negative constraint in the puzzle. I just haven't used it yet. So it was a needed clue, otherwise the negative constraint wouldn't hold true. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 8 and 9. There's no 8 there, there's no 1 there. Negative constraint, anyone? So this is either two or seven, and it's not seven. So this is a two. Now, one of those has to be an X and one of them has to be a V, because if they were both the same, they'd be the same digit. So this is a three, eight pair, taking three out of here. Um, and the eight, of course, makes that the three and that the eight. Two is, or the two lot makes that the eight. This now has to be either one or four, and it's not one, so it's four. One of these is an X clue, and the other one is a V clue, so uh, this is a one, six pair. The six looks down, making this the one and this the six. That's nice. This has been, this is a good, fun exploration puzzle. I love it. This is seven, nine. The nine looks down, making this seven and this nine. The seven, no, the eight looks up, making this two. I uh, haven't resolved the three, seven yet. I will get there. So the nine looks back, making this three, six. So this can no longer, well, there's no six here either, but there's no longer possible to put three, six on this, because if I put three, six on this, this would have no fill. So I can't use a four or eight. There must, this must be one, two, because I can't use two, four. I can't use four, eight, and I can't use three, six. This is one, two. The one here looks down, making that the two and that the one, which takes one out of there, planking that the one, because that's now an eight, nine pair. This, if this was a V clue, this is a three. If it's an X clue, this is an 8. 
both of which seem possible. But this needs to have both of its partners. So if this is a 3, this is a 7, and this is a 2. If this is an 8, this is a 2. No, this can't be in the middle, because one of these would have to be a V clue. So this is the 3, and this is the 7. If this was an 8, this would be a 2, and that would also have to be a 2, and it doesn't work. That makes this the 9, this the 6, this the 3. This is just fun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, a 9. Go into those. There's a 4 looking down, making that the 9 and that the 4. This column, 1, 2, 3, which makes that 7, that 3, and that 7. The 8 looks up, making that 9 and that 8. This 7 looks down, making that 3 and that 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This 6 means that that's the 6, 7, 8, and I make that the 9. And that's the correct solution in 13 minutes and 2 seconds. That was good fun. I, I don't know that the negative constraint was needed on this puzzle. I think you could have... And this isn't a complaint. I don't know how new to setting Nurgle's gift is. But I would have potentially considered with this puzzle trying to remove some of the constraints and removing the negative constraint because I don't think I used it. But... That was fun. Just a nice exploration of the constraints. And you know what? Releasing a nice coffee break puzzle from a new setter. I'm assuming a new setter. Definitely a setter I haven't solved before. And I don't think I've covered before. So, you know, welcome to the channel. And cool fun. Um, and, you know, cool fun is why we're here. If we're not doing it for fun, we're doing it wrong. Um... Or at least that's my opinion. If if you're if if you're getting value out of it and you're not enjoying it, okay. <laughs> um, thank you everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.